Hey everyone, Twitch Jungle is here today. In my opinion, I think Twitch Jungle is just not a great idea. His sustain is just non-existent, and his damage is pretty low early game. But what I do think is amazing is his ganking ability, as he has an invisibility with his Q. For me, I like to start a red or blue, as Krugs do not help you with ganking, as I think the best way to approach with Twitch Jungle is just to gank, gank, and gank. Farming the jungle will just slow you down, will probably get make you very low, and you have to waste a lot of time backing to get HP and mana and to stay in the jungle. Basically, it will put you behind very, very far. So, after you get your first camp and you get to level 2, you want to gank a lane as soon as possible. You have this element of surprise that a lot of laners do not expect junglers to gank and that's really really early game that's what i like to do with shaco is you know clear one camp and then just quickly gank a lane try to get first blood because most of the time they don't expect it so you want to gank a lane and try to get first blood you want to keep on ganking with twitch as in my opinion that's his strongest suit just straight up ganking and what's cool is after you use your q your and uh your q and your passive combined and increase auto attack speed it makes you get a lot of stacks on the enemy because you, you're passive on the Q. Um, after you use it, you have increased attack speed for a certain duration, and that's very, very helpful. And your passive does, you know, true damage over time. It's poison, and you can get tons of stacks. You can increase your attack speed. So basically, if they do not run away, they'll take a lot of damage from you, and potentially you can get a kill and or assist. So it's pretty, pretty good in my opinion. Uh, if your mid laner has CC and your enemy is out of position, you can easily get a kill together and that's how you snowball out of control and that's how you usually win games is, you know, you get very powerful early game and just keep it up, you know, if that makes sense. Now the true downside of Twitch is he's bad at farming in the jungle. His clear speed is slow and he's not tanky or he doesn't have any sustain to really just stay in it. So I recommend just camping a lane to truly snowball out of control and try to get ki as many kills as possible or assists. Those work too. Uh, also, if that doesn't work out, just try help push or try to burn enemy flash or their abilities to try to help out your team as you're kind of pointless at that stage if you cannot farm in the jungle or because you're too low enough of a level and you don't have items or every lane is doing super well or you know they're playing defensively, whatever, you get the idea. Basically. And also, counter jungling with Twitch is a great option as he's invisibility, as he can just have this element surprise but remember he has no escapes after his invis disappears and also he does have the if you if you take damage in 1.5 seconds you can't really use your invis just you won't go invis and that's a huge downfall in my opinion i think that should be removed uh it just it's a huge nerf to him or just a huge like hinder on him i would say like a, you know holding him back a lot uh, for skill build i like to get my e at level one and after that you get your uh, when you get level 2, you want to get your Q so you can easily just gank any lane you want. Because that element of surprise, I think invisibility is a great ganking maneuver. Uh, if there's no pinks, of course. But other if there's no pinks, great, amazing. After that, you want to get a level in your W and then max out your E first. And then max out your Q after you max out your E. You want to get your usual alt at 6, 11, and 16. I don't think any character does not really follow that unless you have like a leash or some, something you know special, exceptional. Uh, for item builds, I have two builds I like to use. First one is like a practical build that is, you know, standardized. You want to get just a smite item, boots, warrior, your enchantment, attack speed boots or swifties, depending on what you want, blade of the rune king, ghost blade, i.e., which is a uh, infinity edge, which gives you that crit and massive damage, and last prayer's prayer or whatever you want, defense item or whatever. It depends on your situation in the game. Next build is just a mess around build. Uh, you want to get smite, boots, just standard boots. Blood Razor, Attack Speed Boots, or Swifties, you, you choose the balance situation, Rage Blade, Dusk Blade, Gun Blade, and then Last Whisper, or whatever you want, Guardian Angel, whatever. That's pretty it for the build. Overall, I think Twitch Jungle is a fun, but not a great competitive thing to do, just to mess around, and I think that's the best type of character to, you know, just have fun with, and it is pretty fun, I must be honest. Now, please leave down a like below, comment what you want to see next, and uh, subscribe to see more content. I'm just messing around to see what I enjoy, uh, of, and maybe I'll do more League of Legends or more tech reviews, just messing around and seeing what I enjoy to make the most. See ya, goodbye.